Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm super excited to share with you the checklist. This checklist I had created um, a while back actually and wanted to share with you guys something that I use and that I thought, why not put something together that's free and accessible to everyone. There is, this is in no particular order. Um, the list it may sound a, a bit much or it may look like it's a bit much, but I guarantee you that you will start tweaking it as you go. And this is just to, to cut, you know, it's, it's customized to your liking. You can definitely say, okay, Rosa, I am not sweeping and mopping my floors every day, but I do because I've got children and I've got animals and they go in and out of the house often. So I thought, let me just put something together and now let me show you how I use it and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy. The first item that's on the list is or that I had checked off was to do a load of laundry and fold a load of laundry so not to say that you need to wash and fold a load of laundry every day but it's good to at least get one of the two out if you have the time to do both then great I've I've gathered that if I do a load every day my laundry load at the end of the week is not going to be insanely large and then I'm not overwhelmed with the amount of laundry. Now don't get me wrong, laundry isn't a task that I, I dread. I like sitting down folding laundry. I like getting to wash the laundry because I, it's a satisfaction for me. I get to see the pile go smaller and smaller and smaller. So, <clears throat> excuse me, but I enjoy doing laundry. So. I at least try to do at least a load, maybe even two loads a day, but I at least try to do the wash and the fold. So this is something that I have realized that has helped me and has also helped my stress and anxiety level of a messy house. <laughs> As simple as it may seem to just get up in the day, you know, once you wake up and make your bed, it is actually a task and it's something that a lot of people struggle with. It is something that I struggle with. I love a made bed because it's, it's a satisfaction. It's an easy, quick fix. But at the same time, it's just that extra thing to do. So as simple as it may seem and be, it is also a difficult task for many to do. So having it on my list for me to check off is just something simple, very quick, and quite honestly, a process that we can all do together. What can we say about dishes? It piles up throughout the day. It piles up every night. It just, it's a, if you have a large family or just I mean, if you use your dishes, you're always going to pile it. It's easy just to throw it in the sink. So again, something to check off, easy to do, easy and quick, um, such as uh, washing the dishes, um, even loading the dishwasher, unloading the dishwasher. I feel like sometimes when we have um, so much going on in our minds and our brains that just everything falls to the wayside, you know, maintaining a clean home and uh, getting to the things that are, are are needed, not necessarily important, but things that are needed um, to keep our home feeling clean. Because you know, where if if you're a woman and you're watching this video, you know very well a messy house. You don't want it to represent you, but sometimes you feel like it does because you don't want people coming over, you don't want people to judge you by it. So again, I feel like this checklist could most definitely help you. In regards to just checking off the things on your off your mind off your plate and um, you're able to go on with your day
kitchen isn't a clean kitchen without the countertops wiped down. So now I'm going to wipe down the countertops, uh, the island, and also the kitchen table. We can be Now this is another uh, quick fix where you can just tidy up after yourself. Um, I obviously, as you can see, don't do a great job at it myself, but I've noticed that if I tidy up after myself after every day or even every other day, um, it's the, the bathroom stays cleaner, it looks nicer um, until it's time to do a deep clean. Now obviously the sweeping and the mopping on the checklist doesn't specify a particular area, but for me the high traffic areas is what most is what's most important to me, such as the kitchen uh, and the dining room area. Um, quite honestly, we don't we're in the living room, but it's not the most high traffic area. So cleaning the kitchen and or sweeping the kitchen floors and sweeping the floor in the dining room area is what I wanted to work on today. The night's a third. But I remember you for sure Over the furniture We gave it all we exhausted Oh, hell, oh, well I'll make you feel it again Oh, hell, oh, well don't stop unless you pretend One look at you was not enough You know I played and you played it rough
Now we're to the final item on our list. And again, this is not specified in regards to what areas that are need to be mopped. So it's your choice. It's for me, it's the high traffic areas, as I said, for sweeping, and I will be doing the same thing for mopping. So for me, it's the kitchen and the dining room area um, as of today. But again, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Um, and how I use my checklist down below you will have a link in the description box for um, For a free printable and I hope you guys do use them. I hope you guys enjoy them There are three different lists. One is a, a daily checklist one is a weekly checklist and then the other one is a monthly checklist and use them as you wish use them how you like you know laminated mine so that I'm able to reuse them again I hope you guys really enjoyed I'm excited to bring uh, this to you guys and share this with you guys again it's a free printable and it's listed down below in my description box and if you like today's video give it a thumbs up and if you are new I hope you consider subscribing and joining our YouTube family and I will see you guys in the next one much love and God bless